Hello, Chantilly Chargers and Charger families. I am Mrs. Keating, and I'm going to give you a little bit of information right now about World History Dual Enrollment. So this is a new class we'll be offering at Chantilly. I am very excited to take this. So this class is um, the, it's a dual enrollment class. So you're probably asking, what are some of the differences between dual enrollment and AP World? Well, one, this class dual enrollment is offered through, is offered at Chantilly High School, but it is also giving you a Northern Virginia Community College credit. So you'll get a no, you'll get six NOVA credits for taking this, this course. Those NOVA credits can transfer to state schools in Virginia. Other schools also accept these credits. You'll just have to check with the different schools. So you will receive the college credit if you score a C or above. I'm sorry, if you score, if you receive a C or above in the class. So you have to earn a C or above. Other differences between um, AP World and dual enrollment is 10th graders taking dual enrollment must have a 3.25 GPA to enroll in the course so that you'll have to have that conversation with your with your counselor while we are following a similar curriculum to the ap world because it is a college level class we will be going at a slower pace the ap exam is in may we will have until june to cover that material both ap students and dual enrollment students do get the one point grade bump one of the other differences between AP and dual enrollment is students enrolled in dual enrollment. We will be following Northern for the NOVA grading policies. So some of the grading policies that NOVA requires will be different than Fairfax County Public Schools. So one of the big examples is no retakes. Um, other things we will, like I said, we'll be covering world history. One of the emphasis that um, this class dual enrollment will have is that it will be a writing and research based class. So we will be doing a lot of writing, a lot of reading. It is a college level class. So while I will be helping you gain those skills, you are expected to come to the class prepared for college level workload. Uh, it, you get a one point bump, you are getting college credit, so it's going to be a college level course. I look forward to teaching it. I'm really excited about it. And if you have any questions, please stop by room 246. I would be happy to answer that. Also, if you have any questions, should I take dual enrollment or should I take AP World Civs? That is a conversation to have with your counselor. Depending on what you're looking for, you need to have that conversation with them. But I look forward to meeting you and any questions, feel free to contact me. Thank you.